everybody and welcome back to the journey coach this is dr tammy Mosier, and we're moving forward in our project of setting up a degree hub for students and this is something that as a student i would have loved to have had available to me while i was in school working through my doctorate work master's work or undergraduate work because the flexibility of this system is so great and your ability to dig down into notes in five semesters past where you currently are and be able to pull together material is wonderful, especially for those in graduate work um, and doctorate work, whether that be a professional doctorate like pharmacy school or it is a um, academic doctorate like a doctorate in business administration, a PhD in management, any of those areas, this provides you a great way to kind of dig into information. So this is what we set up in the last video, a degree hub, which just as a reminder, has the ability to pull in your live class events and then also has your projects pulled out in terms of a dissertation project and then your overall classes. Now, if you're in a professional doctorate like pharmacy, medical school, something of that nature, you might change this from dissertation research to NAPLEX exam. So you know you're going to have to take a large licensing exam when you're done with your entire program and you might want to be able to filter out um, study material from all the classes you've taken in this view. Yeah, you can set it up different ways. But we're going to start now with setting up a template for our classes. So we just threw these classes in here last time. Now we're actually going to start a class template so that every time you start a new class, you just choose this template. So here it is. I've got to start the class template. And this allows you then to wind those classes up really quickly once you've designed it. Now, if I didn't already have this started, I would just hit new template and it would help me begin. But I'm going to edit this template. So these three little dots, remember those are important throughout all of Notion. I'm going to hit those three little dots and I'm going to hit edit. And it'll tell me at the top here I'm editing a template in projects. I'm going to open that up as a page and now I can get started. So there's a couple of things that I want to be able to do with a class template. And depending on the type of classes you're taking, you may want to design this different ways. One of the beauties of Notion, as you're discovering, I'm sure, as you dig into this, is that you can really make it work however you want. You can design it to look the way you want. And if you don't like the way it's currently working, you can change it. So what I'm going to set up here is a start and walk you through some of the choices you're gonna make and then show you how you can quickly morph it if you don't like the way it's looking. And then it's gonna be up to you to start to put together what makes sense in your mind for your classes. So I know I want a class notes section. So I'm gonna just brainstorm here for a minute to start. I wanna keep track of my class notes. There's different ways we can do this. We'll get to that in a minute, right? So class notes. Then I may want a um, assignment schedule. So I want to be able to look at my assignment separately, have a schedule available with that, and then be able to click in and manage all the material there. I want class material, so course resources, I could call this material. Um, and depending on how you got your class set up, how you set these resources up could look a little different as well. But for general course resources, um, depending on if you are taking this class as a, it's an online class. So some of you may be in doctorate programs where you're working on a doctorate of business administration, a doctorate um, of behavioral health. You could have different types of academic doctorates you're working on and you're doing it online. So the way in which you design this might be a little bit different than say someone who is on a traditional college campus in their master's program and they've got a hybrid. So they're taking some classes live and going into live lectures and then other classes are actually designed in an online environment. So some of these choices you make could look a little different depending on what those situations are. So for my class notes, I'm going to hit my six little dots to the left side of that, and I'm going to turn this into a heading. Um, the larger headings, headings one and two, are a little big for my taste, so I'm just going to change this into a heading three. I can also change the color if I want to put this as, let's say I want this as a blue um, but not just the text, I actually want it to have a blue bar across. So it kind of highlights it for me. So same thing, let's just get this started. But I don't want this one blue. I'm going to make assignments um, in orange. Well, I need right here. 
make those orange. And then my resources, let's say I turn this into a heading three, and then I'm gonna have my resources in green. You can set this up however you want. This is just a starting template, right? So I'm gonna play with this, see what I like, what I don't like. Now, for class notes, I could do this a couple of different ways. You can use a database and embed a database, or I could just create pages. And in creating those pages, um, I could just have notes that pop up here, right? So I can look and I can embed a sub page right here and go, I actually just want to put in each class lecture as an embedded sub page. So here I've got my page that opens it up. I'm going to make the changes I typically like. And this is, um, I could add a date here and go Monday. Now this is another place I can create a template, right? So I can make a new template for a page if I want to, or I can just go, you know, I'm just going to name it that this is Monday, May, let's say Monday, June 3rd. I don't know if that's right or not, but we'll just go with that. And it's just a dim, it's a blank page and I'm going to just make notes. Now, what I don't like about this is that I haven't given myself, this is a page, not a database. So I can't create tags that allow me to search so if you're in pharmacy school, this may be something, or med school, where my Monday, June 3rd pharmaceutic, pharmaceutics um, or pharmacotherapy lab, whichever this is, actually is focused solely on the cardiovascular system. And throughout my four years of school, there's going to be 25 days across four years where I've got lectures that are focused on the cardiovascular system. And I want to be able to do a search and just pull out the cardiovascular system notes when I'm in my fourth year and studying for my NAPLEX or when I'm in my third year and we start to really pull together everything I'm supposed to have learned about the cardiovascular system from the physiology to pharmacotherapy. And I wanna be able to do a search and get all those notes at once. This is not gonna help you do that. So this is not my preferred method, but you could use it. So I'm going to go back here and go, mm, I don't want just random notes like this. So I'm going to delete that. Instead, what I really want my class notes to be associated with is a database where I can make a master tag system and search by that later and create a hub for cardiovascular if I want to, or go back to that hub where I'm looking at being able to set up my um, overall degree hub and instead of dissertation research, I have uh, NAPLEX and I'm going to have the different systems of the body pulled out into different sections. These are some of the things you need to think about when you start putting this together. So what I'm going to do here instead is I want this to be an inline linked database, right? And so I'm going to go in here and go, okay, for class notes, I'm going to set those up on a calendar because we actually are going to have live classes, right? So I've got a calendar set up in here and I've got my classes scheduled. And so this is what I'm gonna associate with class notes because I'm gonna be going into live lectures, then I can open up that live lecture day, take all my notes and it's recorded. But let's say you're not doing live lectures, you're actually in a online class. So instead I'm gonna have my action item list or how about the knowledge hub because what I'm going to be doing is taking each module we're covering and making notes over the resources I'm supposed to read and then I'm going to be able to put that all together here right so I'm going to call this my notes and idea lecture notes anything like that and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a filter and I'm gonna filter by this class, right? So I would go in here and I would go down and I would search for a property. Now, if I look at this, I don't have um, necessarily everything I need. So I would go to related to projects and this is gonna be the doctorate project, right? So that's how I would filter this. And I would be able to click in and go, we're gonna have a um, class note module one and I'm going to go in here and set that up so 
when you start to pull this together, you start to have to think about how do I want everything to fit? What do I want to set up here? And you need to be able to put these together in a way that makes sense for you in your overall plan for class notes. So I would recommend that you actually set up a database and create a new database here. And we're going to do this as a table. This is going to be our notes and ideas. And I'm going to add an icon. And like with all my icons for this, I'm going to do the little alien so that I've got it separated. And I'm going to have a master tag system, which is actually going to be a relational database, which I haven't set up yet. So I'm just going to leave this multi-select because it lets me kind of keep that um, idea in mind. I'm going to create a um, relation and this relation is going to be for my projects create relation and this is going to be um, class connection so this will tell me if I start here notes and idea this is going to be module one and the class connection is going to be db um, h 803 right and so now I've got that set up and I have kind of the overview now I can create a template here as well so I can go for my module notes I want to set up a particular type of overview so I want to get into a um, setup for now online classes typically have a set way in which they start to put together the breakdown I build in modules other people build in um, weeks so it kind of just depends on what you have there so what you should be noticing now is I've got a couple of different ways in which to put this together and I need to start thinking about how I want that to look so when you have a module I'm going to use an actual example here from a class let me open up version two okay so this is actually a class I built out and I'm just going to use this information as an overview so for module one there's an overview but this also has a title so I'm gonna put this in here and if you're taking a class they're gonna have that set up all right, so the next thing it has is an overview. So it's gonna have an overview in terms of material um, and what you're supposed to be achieving in this overview, right? So I'm just gonna copy and paste this from the class. Now what this does is it keeps this in my system here instead of me having to always try to go back to that online class. And it makes it easy for me to then in the future access this. And because it makes it easier for me to access, I have a b easier time of actually sorting, keeping track of, um, understanding what's happening in these classes and in these different modules, and really getting my um, overview of what's happening under control. And this becomes part of the notes, right? I don't like that extra space. Um, I need to turn this into a bullet. And you can start to see right how you're pulling this together there's objectives for this as well so I'm just gonna go through and as I look at this I'm gonna put this together I have study materials that are a part of this particular module and so I know I need to read a certain set of textbooks I have to read articles and there's actually videos associated with this so I'm going to come down here and I've copied all that out. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take it to heading, heading three. All right. And so, and I could make this, remember I can do the kind of the color setup. And so that's purple. And these are actually links out. So I'm just going to do this. This is a video file and you'll see here, this opens this directly up. So when I'm copying and pasting from the classroom where 
my university has already done all the work or the instructor has done all the work of actually putting together the links out to articles, links to videos. Those links hold true when I copy and paste it over into this system into Notion. So I can really operate from here to read and to take notes. I don't have to go out and um, take care of a, a whole new kind of process for accessing. Now, I'm looking at this and as, as a student, what I would want to do is actually have my ability to take notes on these articles, right? So you can do a couple of different things here. This is in my notes and ideas. So I can turn each of these into a page of its own. I can look at it and go, I want to actually move each of these into the knowledge database. And so I may add a new, this is going to be really quick. Right, and this is going to be a table. So I'm just going to start with that and I'm not going to turn this in, get my little alien up there so that I know it's part of this. So I'm going to go back over to notes and ideas and I'm going to open this page. And yeah, here's what I've got so far. So I'm filling this out. This is a template right now. This, is, this isn't perfect, but I want to take this and I want to move it to and I'm going to move it over into the knowledge database. So it's moved from here. If I go open up now my knowledge base hub, there it is, right? And if I click it, it actually brings me over to the article. <laughs> so it, it held even in the name, it's held its link. Again, opens it up. So I sent it over, I've got this information in this area. So as we're building this out, I'm starting to see how this comes together. So yeah, I've got options, right? I can leave it all in here. I can move it over into the knowledge database so that I can associate it with particular um, assignments. I can do both things. I can leave it in here and I could copy and paste it over into my knowledge database. So as I'm working on assignments, I can attach these particular articles, the videos, the chapters, any of that that is useful to me over into the assignment. This may be getting a little more complex because it's how you start to interweave the system together. But this starts our template for a module, right, for my notes and ideas. So for module one, I'm pulling this in and I'm creating this notes and ideas section so that I can really start to see um, how I want it set up. And for the actual template, really all I probably want is a design that has these different headings, right? Because I'm just going to populate it with the stuff. But I want the headings already there so it's easy for me just to copy and paste and go, okay, this is, this is what I'm working with. Now, I would probably do one other thing. I would turn this into a toggle, which we've used toggles before, but I turn it into a toggle and I can bold this text. And then I'm gonna take these section areas, highlight them, and I'm gonna move them up under that. So now my study materials fall underneath this particular area and I can pull them open. You may have a class that has two study materials for that module. It may be like this one where you have closer to 20 and I don't necessarily want them taking up the whole page or I could go, I'm fine with them taking up the whole page. Your choice to make and how you want these done. But it's easy for you to change any of this. I can make these all toggles, right? So I could do this to each one and turn it into a toggle. That's up to you and how you want this designed. This is not a complex design for these notes. Now, if I was creating a setup to actually handle uh, my overall look and feel for um, a daily lecture, that could be a little bit different too. I would probably set that up. I'm just going to stay in this area right now. And let's say this was a um, Monday, January 12th lecture. And I want to open that as a page. I might create a new template for this that says lecture note. 
and come down here and set up where I want to know what course objectives this lecture note ties to. So this may be what I fill out after we're done. Some instructors may hand you a lecture note packet that you can copy and paste over into here. It could be designed different ways, right? But I want the course objectives. And by doing that, I help really kind of tie things together. I could also create a new category called course objectives right and have these as a multi select and actually go in and enter each of my course objectives and by entering those course objectives which you would find in the syllabi then I can connect every class to a different course objective I could then do a search or a filter by course objectives and get every lecture note that's associated with one course objective I mean, you can really, through the use of databases, do a lot of interesting things here to help you begin to really pull it together in a way that makes sense for what you're doing. So, um, and how you need to get access to information to use. So for course objectives, just to give you an idea, this would be the example of a course objective copy. This would be course objective one. And so I want to create that and there's one of mine. I can do course objective two. And create it. And then these are drop down. So I can go this particular lecture note applies or is connected to these two course objectives in my course. Um, or I could go it's just connected to one. So, you know, I can delete that, I can take it off. This is just for your choice when I get into a lecture note. And once I apply that as a template, then it's quick for me to go, this lecture note is tied to this, this, and this. And maybe that is an evaluation I do after I've taken the notes. And this can be a reflection tool to help you really connect with the material more. I don't fill out what the course objectives it's connected to until after the lecture and later that day or the next day I review my notes and go okay when I'm looking at these course objectives it ties to these two and then I select them now I have a filter tool and I can get into those course objectives and really see what kind of material I have to connect to these right so maybe I don't put it down here it's part of my actual overview up here if I have a lecture packet that I can copy and paste in and then take notes on in relationship to, that would be great. So I could look at what kind of notes I've already got and go, I was given a note packet that has, well, let me open one up here. I'm gonna open one up and show you a note packet um, and bring in part of it. And as I do that, we'll talk through a little bit more here. As you're really looking at how you pull stuff together and pull different kinds of lectures together, what you really want to start to think through is how am I using this material in classes and then how am I going to take this and actually help it help me use it. So I give lecture note packets and let's say that today's lecture I know I'm going to be covering this material. So I'm going to copy and paste it out of the lecture notes that I've been provided, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a heading for this and call it lecture notes. And then I'm gonna set another here and it's gonna be, um, I'm gonna put, let me change this, note packet. Okay, I'm gonna open this as a page. So go up here and set it up. So I've got my note packet and I've got my lecture notes. And the lecture notes are what I take during the live lecture. And so I want that lined up over here. And now I want all of this, I'm gonna go down here because this is what comes from my lecture notes, the note packet, and I'm gonna move it to where it's under there. So now I actually can do side-by-side -side notes. And this is just an example, right? And I'm gonna turn these in, oh, goodness gracious, these are both gonna have the headings. I can do different colors, I can do different colored text, 
And now over here, as we go down through here, I'm going to type in notes during the live lecture. And I'm going to go, and, and I can rearrange all this later. I can just type in freehand notes here and then start to align it and move it around so it aligns with these different sections of notes that I have written out that the professor gave me. So maybe I don't need to type up anything in here, but when we get down to this group discussion, right? Okay, we're going to have to go back up here, right here, and I'm just going to go down. So here's a group discussion. Well, I want to do a few different things here. I'm going to change this to a color. And I'm going to put all group discussions in blue. So I know that when I've got this blue section in my notes, it's for group discussion. And then when we have that group discussion, I'm going to type them in over here. And now they're associated with this on this side. And I can go, oh, I want them to line up. Well, so move this down. My group discussion, it's on this side of the page, but it's associated with this. And now we're going to talk through each of these. The professor is. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go down. And I'm going to type in um, what the lecture consists of that adds new material. So for a live lecture, this is how I would do it. If I've actually got a note packet, I'm going to get it in here. And then I'm going to do my live lecture notes over here. And I can change this up too. I can make this skinnier so that this is a bigger section over on this other side of the page. You've got so much flexibility here, but this really starts to let you think through. Now I can also go down here and go, I want another section and this is going to call, be called my reflection notes. And so I'm going to turn this in to a heading. I am going to set this up as a color block. And now under here, I'm going to, at the end, and this, if you really study, study studying techniques, you know that at the end of that day, the next day, I want to go back into here, and I don't want to read all of this to begin with. I just want to start typing on what I remember. Now, you may go, well, I'm not going to be able to not pay attention to what's on this page. There's a fix for that. So I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to turn this into a toggle, right? And when I turn it into a toggle, I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to move it under the note packet toggle. And what that means is, and I'm going to do the same thing over here with lecture notes, right? I'm going to turn it into a toggle and I'm going to move all of, now if you already had these aligned, when you move them and set them under here, when you open both of these, they would still be aligned. So this is something I'm going to do after, but before I do this. So I'm going to take this and move it up here and put it into the lecture note, right? And now I've got my reflection notes down here. And what that means is I can come in here and type in my reflection without looking at any of this. And when I open this up, now I see all this. I don't have to do that. Here's another team discussion, right? Team discussion, it's blue. So I can easily see in my notes what I've got going on. You can really take this and move it around. You don't have to do reflection notes if you don't want to. You could actually add that up here. And instead of when you're creating these, add some extra spaces up on this top part. And when you do that, then you can go back in and look at so I want to go down here. I can move it down here to this block. And when I move it out of this block, that allows me to set up something up here. So maybe in the templates when I start, I do that. And kind of like this add a comment, I can add a section right here for reflection and do my reflection at the top. I can set this up so that I can put in a master tag database and I can turn this into a relationship with the database that we add and this is a recommendation I would make and I'm going to create one and I'm going to do master tag 
and I don't have one yet, right? So I'm gonna create that. What that would let me do is actually set up a search or a filter with those master tags. I'm gonna stop here because I'm not quite sure if I'm confusing the issue or not. The, the bottom line is you can set these note up in any way you want to. You can set up modules so that you can put information over and into these blocks easily. And as I start st playing with how I want them to look and what I want to do and how I want everything to come together, I can begin to really think through what would be the easiest and best way for me to work with my class data. We'll pick this up again, subscribe to the channel for the next in the series, and we'll get started on how to start pulling this together in a way that it gives you that next level that you need to start the master tag database to help you look at systems if you're doing something with the medical school, pharmacy school, nursing school, or to start look at the looking at theories if, for instance, you're in a DBA and you want to be able to pull out everything from master tags that have to do with certain servant leadership theory over your entire coursework. That master tag system will help you set this up. Until next time, stay safe, enjoy the journey, and let's keep building.